Zoinks. Last night, a streamer got scammed out of $2 million live. Let me ask you something. Have you ever been in a situation? Oh, bro. This dude is so good at what he does. Holy shit. Situation where you've been straight up scammed. Like I'm talking about on a massive scale. The kind of scam that would leave you questioning life itself. Like I paid for some fake Gucci shoes before and I've lost like maybe $300. But nothing on the scale that I'm about to tell you about today. Which is about Aiden Ross being scammed in the sum of $2 million dollars on his own live stream. Aiden Russ is the biggest streamer on- Is there more lore to this? The bigger you are, the bigger the target you have on your back. And recently, Aiden Russ has found himself in some serious scams, not once, but twice, by these two rappers, 21 Savage and Playboy Cardi. Let me tell you about the Playboy Cardi situation first, because this one is just mind boggling. Playboy Cardi is a very big deal in the rap community. If you look at his monthly listeners, he has 45 million monthly listeners on Spotify, with some of his tracks racking up over half a billion views on YouTube. So back in February, Aiden Russ decided to have him on his stream. It was going to be a huge event on kick.com. Originally, everyone thought that he was paying- I'm so interested to hear about this, bro. Holy shit. Thousand dollars to Playboy Cardi for this appearance, but in actuality, he paid a whopping two Wait, what's the name of that account? Turvis Scott. Oh my god. Cardi for this appearance, but in actuality, he paid a whopping two million dollars in cash, plus gifted him a brand new Ferrari. Two million dollars plus a Ferrari is a huge, huge amount of money just to get one person on your stream. But here's the context Playboy Cardi hasn't released an album in over three years, and there were rumors swirling that he might be announcing something during Aiden Ross's stream. So, from a marketing perspective and from a perspective of somebody who gambles that amount of money on a daily basis, it seemed worth it. As you can probably guess by now, things did not go according to plan. In fact, <laughs> it was an utter disaster. It just, I kind of got left in like the dust type. And Aiden ended up feeling like he got scammed out of his money. So he originally flew all the way from Florida to Los Angeles just for the stream to happen. And apparently he left a family emergency. He showed up on location chosen by Cardi's team, which was just a giant empty warehouse. There were probably 500,000 people watching this stream. And Aiden Ross waits. Yeah, I want to react to some shit. <laughs> and he waits. And you wait some more for about 90 minutes. Meanwhile, Playboy Cardi was just sitting in his car outside. At first, somebody from Playboy Cardi's team shows up and he says he's not coming. And determined to keep the stream going, Aiden Russ pulls out a massive bag of cash and essentially says, if you're gonna come here and hang out, this money is yours. I was so close to having him in this building. Y'all can put L's all you want. I'm sorry, bro. Cardi, I'm gonna just say this. You sold so hard, bro. Eddie was ready to give you a multi-million dollar deal. You had your manager, you had all your opium boys come through. Oh shit. You spoke on the phone many times. You knew Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm invested right now. <laughs> Holy shit. You knew what it was. You had to just come for what? An hour, hour and a half? Come and get your two million in Ferrari that Eddie paid for? Crazy shit. I don't understand it. I waited. I flew to LA. Dude, yeah, Aiden, Aiden's been catching L's, bro. For you, bro. And then after another 20 minutes or so, Playboy Cardi finally made his grand entrance. And I feel like Aiden Ross, like, he was, like, don't get me wrong, he was spewing some fucking crazy hateful shit there for a while. But he hasn't done that for a minute. Like, I, I actually do kind of feel bad for Aiden Ross on God. Now, if you look at the stream FUD, it's only six minutes long. How you doing, bro? Meet you. And what happens is Playboy Cardi spends most of his time on his stream either dancing awkwardly, mumbling incoherently. You know, I feel amazing you're here now. I love you. Aiden pulls out the money at one point. I got you, bro. Dude. Bro, I got some cash for you. Mm. Yeah, a little gift from me to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's a Ain't no way, motherfucker. <laughs> A lot amount of money here. That's my reaction when I see boobs. <laughs> I got you, bro. Aiden tries to get him to sit down and have a conversation. And I mean, nobody deserves this shit, and I'm not defending Aiden by any means. But when you have a platform that has essentially no rules, bad things happen. But I do feel bad for Aiden. But bro has been chilling for a bit. Definitely shouldn't have paid this motherfucker. Yeah, on God, dude. He just flat out refuses, saying, No, stand. You want to take a seat? Was that his manager? Okay. So they stood there in the dock in this empty warehouse and Playboy Cardi occasionally grunting every few seconds. Mm. Damn, bro. Anything you could tell us? Tell the people? Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Uh, 
my best, my very best is, is, is actually insane. 2024. And then he promptly leaves. Why play Bacardi look like the gimp from Pulp Fiction? In less than five minutes. Yeah, thank you so much. Pleasure. Back to the studio. Less than six minutes. People on the internet were having a field day laughing at Aiden Ross after this. Playboy Cardi and his team leaving after getting two million to show up to Aiden Ross's stream for only 15 minutes. <laughs> Life like this sure is sweet, huh? It definitely is. Just when it's the biggest scam in live stream history, two mil gone. As a Cardi fan, that was awful to watch. Oh my God, rip Aiden. After this happened, Aiden Ross admits that he didn't really pay two- He did! Two million dollars up front. Well, he it was just a couple hundred thousand. It wasn't as bad as we thought. Came, he was like two hours late. And, uh, you know, I got him, I got him, you know, some money because Kick wanted to fuck with him and shit. And, um, you know, he, he came for six minutes, nodded his head like. Came for six minutes? That's impressive. Honestly, yeah. I think the longest I've ever came was about, like, maybe like 23 seconds, probably. I counted. Yeah. Five times and then, uh, left. Bruh, $2 million for six minutes, bro. <laughs> he didn't get paid that. Dude, I really went from hating 21 Savage after him scamming the fuck out of Aiden to finding out that they made up and he wasn't he didn't actually scam him out of that money to loving 21 Savage watching him react to this. Bro, you pay for six minutes. No, I didn't. Well, I, I kinda. Bro, I just seen you give him a bag of cash. Okay, but bro, guess what? He's not a bro. That was Aiden Russ talking to 21 Savage on the phone about what happened. And despite all of this, for some reason, Aiden Russ is trying to get Playboy Cardi back on his stream. All right, yo, Cardi, say out of the stream. The boy Aiden was popping, bitch. Uh, yeah. Chat, let me know if you guys want part two. You, yo, Cardi, we got to do the part two at the warehouse. You got to come to Miami and come do it. All right, bitch. So. Are you excited? Yeah. You know me, I'm just trying to get keep rapping, keep rapping. Okay. I need you to talk. Dude, Playboy Cardi reminds me of like, I don't know, like the awkward kid, bro. He, like, he does not know what the fuck to say, bro. He does not know what the fuck to say. He's like, yeah, just gonna keep rapping, bro. This time to me now, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm sad as fuck. I don't mean, you know, I know, I know, I know, Jordan. I know. All right. Jordan! <gasps> Oh my god, bro. No wonder why he doesn't fuck with you. Aiden, he probably saw the clip of you talking about Drake's penis, bro. He's like, oh, nah, I ain't gonna fuck with this guy. Uh-uh. Yo, um, Cardi, I'm gonna call you later. Uh, we'll, uh, we're gonna get part two in motion, okay? A few weeks later, Aiden Ross leaks this, this footage. This is unreleased footage from Aiden Ross. He said that they got into an argument after the stream right outside. I think we're good to show the footage. Um, y'all wanna see it? What? And the only reason why I'm really showing it is... Just because, like, I was promised a part two and all these things, and you know, it just I kind of got what? Why was no one talking about this? Left in like the dust type. Um, and I was just basically saying to Cardi, like, bro, like, let's go back in there and let's, you know, give them what they want, bro. Like, they, this we can't go out like this. I already know Kick's gonna be upset and everyone's gonna be mad. And then his British friend came and tried to get in my face a little bit, which it should be like over here. No, here's the British friend. It was a whole lot of just combustion because guys, again, they came for money and they didn't get their money. They got some of it, but they didn't get all of it. It was a whole thing. He was on camera for six minutes and all he had to do was just be on camera for like one hour. And we had talk terms and shit. I spoke to, you know, them before. And Ray was basically right there like, nah, we're not doing this. Like, look at Ray, you see Ray talking. Like, nah, like you're not doing this to my man's Aiden. Like, nah. He was just basically like, yo, this is not how it's going to be done. But there's more. Right when he what? thought Aiden Russ couldn't be scammed enough in his lifetime, he was in another scandal. Aiden going to get himself killed one day. Yeah, bro. Holy shit. Just a couple weeks prior to that. If you're not familiar with the backstory here, 21 Savage and Aiden Russ, they like to gamble together on stream sometimes. They played NBA 2K for $400,000 and they played cards for money. And this happened during another live stream. I'm gonna say, bro, I cannot get into Playboy Cardi's music like that. I've tried a bunch. Can't really get into it like that. When 21 Savage and Aiden Russ were playing high stakes. It's fuck Cardi. It wasn't really poker. It was just high card. You each draw a card from a deck and whoever gets the highest. I, I do love 21 Savage, though. I'm not gonna lie. I love his music. I think he's a funny ass dude. 
I'm glad that they fucking worked this out because if 21 Savage had actually like fucked him this way, I would have been like actually like upset. Card wins the pot and they were playing for $150,000. The suspicious mm -hmm. thing about this game was that 21 Savage was winning every single hand. Yeah, on God, Austin, on God, bro. Aces, kings, queens. It's almost as if he knew exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking about how fucking 21 Savage was like, call me Tata. Call me Tata. <laughs> ah, call me Tata. The fucking guy sent out, bro. What the cards were going to be that that. flip them. And then this bombshell happened. One person on Aiden Ross's team said that the cards were actually marked. On God. On God, they're marked. Hold on. 21 Savage is obviously playing dumb and pretending like he has no idea what's going on. I don't think he would do that, bro. Yeah. Uh, nah, they're scratched, bro. Uh, yeah. These, these cards are both scratched. I'm going to show you right here. Watch. Right there is a little scratch. My money I would have swung on, bro. That's so real. Have a good rest of your stream. I think I might go to bed now. See you next time. Once you're back, yo, Kobe. I appreciate you, homie. Thank you for keeping me up to date on all things fucking... Minecraft drama. You're a fucking real one. And just for hanging and being a cool person. Sleep well. Have an amazing day today slash tomorrow. They're back on two. They're yeah. marked, bro. They're back on two what? These are marked. Look. Not all of them have it. Who got whose cards are these though? Where you, where you get cards from? Vons. Vons? You got them today? Yeah. You got another pack? Either way, Aiden Ross almost got suckered out of another big sum of money. Two different wow. rappers trying to scam Aiden Ross out of lots of money. The Playboy Cardi fiasco had him feeling like he got ripped off to the tune of $2 million, while the 21 Savage incident nearly cost him hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right after the stream ended, 21 called my phone, and uh, we spoke for like 20 minutes. And he was just saying to me, like, I got the wrong people around me and shit. And and I, I and I'm sorry about that, bro. It's just flat out embarrassing, and I'm not fucking with that at all. And you know, I I'm sorry, man, and all that all that stuff. And then he was like, "Send me your wire and phone. Make sure you have the wire in the morning." He came through on it. I got the full two hundred fifty the two hundred fifty thousand dollars, which is what we agreed on before starting the card game and before starting the dice, right? And the monkey. Aiden Ross is a glutton for punishment, but there is a floating theory that he's doing this to himself. Like maybe oh. he's doing this to get exposure. He's oh. setting up these scam situations. The amount of media and press that talked about these things after it happened, the amount of massive buzz and publicity for Aiden Russ. His name was trending on Twitter. Zoinks. Last night, a streamer got scammed out of $2 million live. And you can actually see the money get taken and left with. Yesterday, we definitely saw the biggest ever scam. And it's not an attempt. They actually scammed the guy. It was a very big deal. People that don't even know Aiden Ross or watch Kick knew about the Playboy Cardi situation. Of course, that's just a theory that people are saying. Maybe we'll never know the truth, but I think there's a lesson here. And the lesson should be, maybe don't pay $2 million up front for a rapper to appear on your stream. And secondly, if you're gonna <laughs> gamble with somebody, maybe do it with someone you're a little closer with, or just don't. <laughs> Especially when you're as dumb as Aiden Ross. But I'm just catching up on all news here. Hopefully you enjoyed my explanation of the situation. If Dude. you are new, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Subscribe. And I'll be back very soon with something brand new. I did... Oh, fuck. That's not what I want to do. Fuck. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Dude, I did not realize that all this fucking shit... Ha Yo, W thumbnail, by the way. Sorry. I was just clicking on... Oh, is that... Is that Cardi? Oh, my God. Um, I did not realize that he got... Or he shared that footage of him going back and forth with Cardi's team. That's fucking crazy, dude. Yo, this dude, the Asher show, though, makes really good fucking videos. Dude's getting added to the trends tab.